Question four, probability. My favourite questions. Okay, so hopefully you've had a little read of the question. So we've got some magazines read by different students, okay? So find a proportion of students in a college who read exactly one of these magazines. So that's that one, plus that one, plus that one, okay? Add those together, and that's 0.53, all right? Nice mark to start off with. Let's get this in gently. Okay, so next says, no students read all three magazines. So that's that bit there, isn't it? So that bit is zero, okay? So find the value of P. P equals zero. And then the next part, we need to work out the value of Q. Well, it did tell me this up here. So I know that this, and this, and this, and this equals 0.25. So we can write 0 0.08 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 plus Q equals 0.25. So therefore, Q must equal 0 0.12. There we go. Right. Now, slightly trickier stuff. Right. It says, given that, sorry, so probability, S given E equals 5 over 12. Right, so we need to make sense of what that means. Okay, so what does it mean? It means the probability S intersection E, now you should know this, over the probability of E. It's making sense of this, this given function, okay? And we know that that is 5 over 12. Well, okay, so what is the probability of S intersection E? Well, if I look over here, We've got E, we've got S, so it's these two bits. So basically, it's just R, right? So that bit's going to be R. Now, what's the probability of E? Well, it's all of this circle here, or this region, I should say. So it's this one, plus this one, plus our zero, plus our R. So it's 0 0.14 plus R. And we know that that lot is equal to... 5 over 12. Now, with a little bit of rearranging, we can multiply both sides by, by this bit, by this bit just here. And that gives us 12R equals 5 times 0 0.14 plus R. And then, if you then multiply this out, we've got 0 0.7 plus R. Blah, blah. Uh, whoops. Got me five then, and then that gives us seven r equals 0 0.7 divided by seven, so r equals 0 0.1. So it's always worth just going up to the diagram and just putting in stuff as you work it out. Oops, I didn't put the q in, did I? Let's put that in as well. Right now, we need to work out t. Well, what do we know? We know that everything all together adds up to one, we've got all the stuff inside. So if we add all of that together and take it away from 1, um, I think if you add all that lot together, it's 0 0.8. So if we do 1, take away 0 0.8 is 0.2. T equals 0.2. Let's pop it on our diagram. Now, now's a bit that people tend to get a little bit confused about. It says determine whether or not the events S intersection not E and G are independent. Well, let's work out, first of all, if, if they were independent, then for we could multiply these two things together, okay? So the probability S intersection not E, and I multiply that by probability of G. So if I do that, this one is 0. 4, 8. Let's just have a quick look at the diagram just to make sure that we understand where that's coming from. So it's S, whatever's in S that's not in E. So it's these two. Okay? It has to be in S, not in E. All right? It's the intersection of those two things. So it's those two bits there. And the probability of G is just that bit there. So I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.25. If we do that, that gives us 0. 
1, 2. Now, in order to test for independence, what we're trying to show is whether this is going to be the same by looking at the diagram. Okay, what we're interested in is just from looking at the diagram, will this give us the same answer? Okay, so we're effectively just looking for that bit just there. All right, so if we look at the diagram, so S intersection, not E, then S intersection, so we've got that bit there, and then intersection G. So where does this, this bit here, and that intersects with G? We're talking about that bit just there, which is 0.12, okay? So as they're the same, therefore independent, all right? And there we go. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I've been RMS Maths and I'll see you next time. Maths out.